20 billion, billion with a B. Do you know what that is? No? Let me tell you. It's the number of hot dogs consumed by Americans in one year. 20 billion, that's right. Well, that's a lot of hot dogs, and we wanted to find out which one is the best. We took seven of the top brands of hot dogs you can find anywhere, and we're gonna grill them up, and we're gonna compare them side to side, and I'm gonna tell you which one I think is best, all right? Before we can do that, though, I need to do one thing for me. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Really important. Now let's get started on the hot dog test. Seven of the top brands of hot dogs right here. We have Nathan's Famous, we have Sabrettes, we have Salins, Oscar Mayer Wieners, Ballpark Franks, Boar's Head, and Hebrew National. As with any other scientific experiment, we wanted to keep things as consistent as possible. I tried to go with the same size, tried to go with skinless, bun size Franks. I wanted to keep everything as close to each other as possible so we can have the most accurate results in this hot dog heaven test. I'm as excited as you are for this, trust me when I tell you. Um, all these all beef hot dogs are ready for me, but we have to do one more thing before we can. Let's get this grill lit and get some charcoal burning. I just want to repeat, we're using all beef hot dogs for this. They're all hot dogs except for the Oscar Myers. They seem to be wieners. Well, I guess we should have used that as our opening scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway. So let's check on our fire. What we wanna get is a nice medium hot fire. One of the big misconceptions about hot dogs is that everybody thinks, a lot of people anyway, think that they're pre-cooked. Hot dogs are not pre-cooked. Unless they say cured or smoked, they're not pre-cooked. You still have to get them um, fully cooked through and through. So it doesn't take long, maybe five or 10 minutes, but they do have to be cooked. You should not eat hot dogs raw. Okay, now we're gonna get a medium hot fire going and we're gonna get these babies on and we are gonna chow some hot dogs and find out which one's number one. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna cook two of each hot dog. So I'm setting each plate. We have seven hot dogs, so we have seven plates. Each plate with two buns, all the same buns, regular, just plain old grocery store buns from Publix. All right, in order to make sure we have a fair contest, we have to start by warming up our tongues with the mandatory three clicks. I think it's a law. We're gonna start with Nathan's as number one. Okay, two of each, folks, two of each. Next, we go to the sabrettes. In this corner, sabrettes. They're a little longer, but that's okay. Length does not affect the flavor. Next up, Salem's Hot Dogs from Buffalo, New York. And now the world famous Oscar Mayer Wieners. And if you like baseball, you've had ballpark Franks before. And from New York, the Bronx Boar's Head. And last but certainly not least, Hebrew National. And coming off the grill first, Nathan's famous, Joey Chestnut's favorite hot dogs. Next off, subrettes. They're a little longer. Size does not matter. Out of Buffalo, New York, Salem's hot dogs. Now your world famous Oscar Mayer wieners. World famous ballpark Franks. Here comes New York's own Boar's Head. And last but certainly not least, Hebrew National. In order to keep this completely fair, we have rearranged the order of the hot dogs and I don't know what order they're in. So they're gonna hand them to me one at a time. I'm gonna taste them. I'm gonna make a little bit of notes so I can remember because my brain is like a sieve because I'm not a young man anymore. And we're gonna see which hot dog I like best. Let's go. Number one, please. Ooh, it looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that baby. Kind of scrawny in that bun, whichever one this is, all right, so. Tastes kind of bologna-ish. So the first one, a little bologna-ish. And scrawny in the bun, but tasty. Let's face it, is there anything such a thing as a bad hot dog? 
Take this away. Cleanse the palate in between tastings. Bring on the second hot dogs. Thank you, my lovely assistant, everybody. Let's see what we've got here. All right, a little more of a bun filler here. All right, nice. Let's take a bite. Ooh, that's a little bit taste your hot dog. I like that. Got a little, I want to say sharper flavor. Mm, that's a better hot dog. All right, so the second one, bun filler. A bit tastier. On to the third one. Why, thank you. Mmm. Interesting. Didn't seem to like get as much grill marks and stuff. I'm gonna push this towards the end of the bun because I don't want all. Again, it is considerably shorter. That's actually not bad. I don't know what it is. Not as good as the last one. That one's sort of middle of the road for me right now. Middle of the road, that's right. So the third one, middle of the road. Oh, I thank you. You are so efficient. My assistant here is so efficient. Again, about the same size as the bun. Some nice grill marks on there. It's amazing, they have a similar taste, but yet each one does have its own individual taste. This one, good, not great. Kind of plain Jane-ish a little bit. Not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw it in the garbage. I mean, a hot dog is a hot dog. So, ooh, these ones are sticking out of the bun. All right, I like that. Got a nice color to them, also. See that beautiful color? I think that may be an elite so far. Yeah, it's got a real nice flavor. Deep flavor. Mm-hmm. I think I know which that is. Very tasty. Okay, again, ooh, these ones shriveled. Look at that. They look wrinkly. <laughs> I won't make any jokes. They do stick out of the bun. So let's try this one. Ooh, ooh. Mmm. Nice flavor. Maybe a touch saltier or something? I don't know. Oh, that's a good hot dog, too. These last two are my favorite so far. Number six, very good. I might have to go for a retaste of the last one and this one. Mm. And last, but certainly not least. Again, some nice color. Not exactly a bun filler. Kind of small. I'm gonna move it out towards the end here so I'm not just eating all bun. Oh man, that's a flavorful hot dog too. Wow, wow. I'm gonna have a hard time with this. If this makes any sense, it's got a cleaner flavor to it. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but that's just the way it comes across to me. I have a pretty good idea of which ones might be which. You know, as I hand these off, you know he's eating the other hot dog, right? You do know that, yeah. So anyway, um, let me review my notes here. So which one do you think was best? I'd love to know in the comments. Leave me a comment below, all right? I'd have to say that the second to last one was my favorite. My absolute favorite, um, followed by, I'd have to say the second to the last one. All right, I got my one, two, and three. Now, let's go back over there, or over there, and find out which was which, and see which one won. Meet you over there. Well, that was delicious. I'll take a hot dog test any day of the week, you know what I'm saying? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Folks, this is my girlfriend, Lynn. She is the one that <laughs> set the order that I was being handed the hot dogs in. So I don't know which was which. So I'm gonna ask. So the very last one that you gave me was my third favorite, I think. So which one was that? I'm not gonna tell. You're not gonna tell? <laughs> oh no, they're waiting. They wanna I, know. I'm not telling. Come on, tell me, please. <laughs> it was that one. No kidding. That was that one. Wow, okay. I have to say, the ones that I thought that it was gonna be is definitely not. So this is Nathan's hot dog. This was my third favorite one. All right, um, good flavor, cleaner taste, like I said, so very interesting. Huh, okay. Now, my next favorite one was, let's see here, the second to last one that you gave me. What was the second to last one? That one. No kidding. Huh, Salins. I'm, I'm really shocked by that. So was I. 
I am, wow, I, I, I'm a little bit speechless. I, I can't believe that. <laughs> That's a good hot dog. That's a, I would not have thought that would be in the top three at all. They're used to you talking with your mouth full, it's okay. So that was my second favorite one. <laughs> kind of funny, but the last three were my favorites. My very favorite one was the very last one you handed me. What was the, what was the, the second to last one you handed me, I mean. What do you second think it might be? Since that one's confused you, what do you think it might be? I'm gonna say, I think it was the Hebrew National. That's what I think. Well, you're kind of close. Kind of close? Sabrettes. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you were kind of close. Yeah, but I'm really surprised Hebrew National was... <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of my least favorite. I'm gonna get crushed on this. I'm gonna get crushed. Mmm. Yeah, I'll still stick with it. That's a good hot dog. So. Not bad. The big hot dog test. Go for it. All seven. <laughs> I tried them all, tasted them all. I'm actually pretty surprised because one of my go-tos that I always grab wasn't even in my top three. Okay, Sabret, to me, was the best hot dog out of all seven of these. I really enjoyed it the most. So I guess that it went Sabret, then it went um, um, Salins, and then the last, the third favorite was Nathan's. Go figure, how about that? So that's my top three, Sabret, Salins, and, and Nathan's. Um, I'd love if you try this out. Try it out at home, see what you think, but, um, What'd you think about the order? How'd you think it came out? I'm a little shocked. Yeah. I'm a little shocked. I really am. I, I guess I'm most shocked about this one. Yeah. This is where I thought, this is where I came in. I I kind of thought you were going to go for the boar's head for some reason. Yeah, so where did you hand me the boar's head? That was, where was that? That was at the beginning. Oh, okay. So that was the first one that you handed me? I think it was the second one. The second one. Second one. Okay, it was bun filler and it was tastier. So, you know, maybe it got lost in the mix, but that boar's head, that was a good hot dog too. So. Yeah. Um, let's put it this way. There was no losers here. They were all pretty good. Some of them kind of had a little more bologna flavor to it than, than others to me, as you saw, but um, that's okay. I like bologna. So, uh, uh, but you know, the, the grilling really makes a big difference. I'm sure boiling it, oh, maybe we should try that. Boiling as opposed to grilling. But dirty water dog. Dirty water dog, dirty baby, water New dog. York City. All right, so, so Brett, I want to congratulate you on making a fantastic hot dog. Um, I had a blast making this. Um, did you have fun watching me I eat them? Always have fun watching you eat. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, listen, thanks so much for tuning in again. Subscribe, hit thumbs up, all that good jazz. Um, tune in again. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Hit notifications. You want to ring that bell so that you get notified every time we have a new video coming out. Until then, remember to get out and grill, and we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life. Bye, y'all.